I'm just going to test with an ORP reader um, the different oxygen reduction potential. So the ones that have a, um, a negative charge mean that they're full of living nutrient. Things that have a positive charge, like what's displaying on the screen now, 649, 647, um, that means there's negative charge, a uh, positive charged ions in there. So they're not going to be contributing to the cell growth or the mill cell voltage. They're not going to be repairing the cell. Could I get a little tiny bit more water of this one in there? So as soon as I've dunked that in there, the ORP meter has shot up to like 600, positive 600. So wow. that's not a good reading. <laughs> no. It's a bad reading when it comes to terms of health. We want things in the negative and then the Gatorade, I might get a little bit more top up if you could. The Gatorade that's gone into, wow, negative 630. Oh, that's yeah, that's disgusting. not yeah. that good for the body. And people like actually get paid to, to wear that on their jersey because it's oh, meant no. to be a health drink, right? It's not. It's definitely not. And then we've got Infinity. So this is um, Healthy Life Infinity Alkaline Oxygen Generated drink and that one's negative it's dropping but it's still high negative let's see where that one goes and so this is like the test that we do right before the ph because once yeah. we put the drops in it we can't put the little in there. yeah i might just even top up a little bit more yeah that's right Yeah, so that's pretty, still dropping a little bit, but pretty much around that eight, that 480 mark, would you say? Mm, yeah, about 480. 485, still dropping. Cool, so and then we've got... negative. Yeah. And then we've got a, po a positive, so not, not a good reading. Then we've got the um, tap water, which is it's close to 600. shot up to 600. So there's no um, positive nutrient in tap water in Perth. We're in, what suburb are we in? Greenwood. Greenwood. Mm. Um, there's no positive nutrient in the tap water, which is kind of scary if you ask me. And then we're going to empty this cup, if you could do that for me. We're going to chuck some of this Kangen 9.5 water. It's a little bit old. Um, like we just poured it maybe like half an hour to an hour ago. Mm -hmm. But it's, it should still have some live electron in it. So we're going to check the mill cell voltage with this ORP meter. All right? Yeah. Do you want to do it down here? Yeah, put it down. Hey. And just, so, and just so you know that this is Kangen, I'm going to have a quick sip. So you know, it's actually drinkable water. <laughs> it tastes. Yeah. A little taster. And then this is the Kangen water. Now this should start dropping. Um, usually we calibrate our device before we use it, but we don't have a Kangen machine here, so we, we couldn't do that. But it is dropping and it's plummeting quite quickly. Yeah. Can see and that will start going into the negative had we have calibrated the device that would already be like negative 800 wow but it's just it takes a little while to catch up with with us but you can see it going down it's yeah, it's dropping continuing to drop and so it's really important when you test your water that firstly you test for the antioxidants and secondly chlorine and then thirdly obviously alkalinity and what we know about alkalinity is there's a chart right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But basically, purple is the, the highest spectrum of alkalinity. That's like 11 pH or 12 pH. And you've got this blue color, this beautiful blue. It's still dropping. And the blue represents, um, I guess, neutral or just above neutral, really, into the alkalinity. Then you've got seven. Now, all tap water legally has to come out green. It has to come out at that seven pH. And then you've got yellow, which is acidic, and then highly acidic, which is red. If anything's red in the red zone, you just don't want to be putting that in your body because it's it's going to promote a lot of cancer and sickness and illness. So let's um, take the drops out, and I'll get you to drop them in, uh, all of them except for this one. So how many drops? Just two drops should be enough. 
might require three. We'll give it a little mix with a spoon or something. Still dropping. Still dropping it. We'll go into the negative. Mm. That's two in that one. Yeah, you could probably put one more. We're not stingy with our drops. <laughs> Just don't get it on your bench because no. it will stain. Yeah, so see that first Gatorade has come out. Is that Gatorade? Yeah. Mm. It's come out yellow. So that's highly acidic. That's toxic for the body. And this is the Infinity. Uh, Life, Lifefinity, is it? Yeah. Life Infinity. And it's like a neutral color, like a bluey, greeny color. There's two in that one. And what's this one? Tap water. And this is your tap water, which is like undecisive with what it wants to be. It's like a greeny blue color, so it, it doesn't really know what it wants to be. What we're going to do right now, it's really interested, is I don't believe that water should, or any drink for that matter, should have a, um, a label on it with ingredients, but it actually has an ingredients list on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is, do you have a straw? Oh, you've got your recyclable Tupperware. Straw. Yeah, I don't have them yet. Yeah, they're on the order list. They're on the way. <laughs> we got a handy dandy straw. And what I'm going to do with this straw is I'm going to blow oxygen back into the, the liquid. So we're in the negative now with the Kangen water. The ORP caught up to us in our velocity. And when I blow oxygen into this water, it returns it to its natural state and condition which I believe is actually acidic. I believe that stuff that has ingredients poured into it, like bicarb soda and all that kind of stuff, um, changes the pH unnaturally. And the body, which is our actual, um, I guess our honing device, the, the smartest organism on the planet, the human body, recognizes this. And it has to then separate the, the chemical from the water in order to get it back to normal, the, the original pH. So let's blow some air into this. And just with a couple of seconds of blowing, we've got it back to its original state and condition, which is actually yellow. Now, if we get a little tiny bit of kangen water, which we're now definitely into the negatives now, we're into the hundreds. If we get a little bit of kangen water, I'll get you to hold that one and just maybe slide it in this pouch and just hold it up right because there's liquid in that. And we tip it in the Gatorade. It tries to change, but it hasn't changed the color. So let's chip, tip it now into the uh, Life Infinity. And straight away it's gone into that neutral range. It would go alkaline if I kept pouring. Right? And then we've got this one here, which was the tap water. We didn't even blow that yet. Let's blow into that. And that one's gone yellow too. So if we take the chemicals out of the water, what we find is that the water goes back to its natural state, which is acidic, bad for the body. So they're putting all these things in to make us think that it's alkaline, when in actual fact it's not. It's actually doing dam more damage to our body. So then we get some um, kangen water into that one. And let's see if we can get back that back to a nice color. A nice blue there we go straight back into neutral so that's what one little bit of kangen water does but when it comes to things like gatorade and mount franklin and soda coca-cola stuff like that it actually takes 32 glasses of kangen water to get your body back into that neutral state after having one glass of this stuff that's why I don't drink soda. Yeah. <laughs> the drops in the kangen water itself yeah. so you can see the color of that. Yeah, let's do some. Yeah. yeah, so we'll get some kangen water and we'll put some drops in that one and we'll just see like what color that pH is. Muscles. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out, mate. That's all right. And letting me film in your kitchen. <laughs> cool, so I'll let you put some drops in. Sure that. Mm. So usually we're straight in the purple, but we have actually transported this water all the way from, I don't know what suburb it was, Marangaroo or something. A while ago, yeah. A while ago, and it's been in the car. So usually, typically that would go purple, bright purple. Well, it's still UV. bright blue. It's so. pretty blue. It's, it's on the edge of being alkaline, and um, well, it is alkaline. So yeah, it's pretty cool to to test these these things, and I can stand here and blow, look at all that. 
oxygen into the water. Like if it's been smashed around, it will go that lighter blue color, but it shouldn't go back any further than that because it's been restructured by, by an um, a electrolysis phase. Or maybe we've got a really bad filter, but yeah, it shouldn't go any more than that. So that's really interesting to see, um, you know, the different types of waters, what an ORP meter is and what it can do and just, yeah, like what's available on the market. Pretty cool.